it's a cash Caesar yet again and this comes just uh, weeks ahead of crucial elections. Now, in just nine days, a record of 165 crore rupees worth of currency, gold and precious metals, liquor, freebies and also narcotic substances worth 8 crores have been seized in Telangana. In the entire two months when model code of conduct uh, was in effect in the run-up to assembly elections in 2018, it was rupees 128 crores and that was the highest in any state in the country. Uma Sudhir is now live with us. Uh, so, of course, uh, in uh, in the run-up to elections, uh, you know, crucial ele state elections are just weeks away now, and these cash cash uh, seizures, in a sense, very common when it comes to Telangana because we know the kind of money that actually is pumped into elections, particularly in a state like Telangana. Yes, indeed, Vedant, you spoke about 165 crores, but I've got an update after that. Just in the last 24 hours. There has been 78 crore additional amount of, uh, whether it is cash in the form of currency or gold and other precious metals, liquor, as well as ganja and other freebies as well. So the number has gone up from the 165 crore that we are talking about just this morning to 243 crores now. And that's the kind of uh, scale of uh, money flow that we are seeing in Telangana. You rightly pointed out that 128 crores was a seizure in 2018. And that was, in fact, the highest anywhere in the country. And if you were to see 2014, it was about 78 crore, which means that whether it is demonetization or whether it is the pandemic, the amount of uh, black money that seems to be doing the rounds is certainly not gone down. If at all, it has only increased several multiple times more, I must uh, point out. In fact, I spoke uh, to Mr. Vikas Raj, who is the chief electoral officer of Telangana, to ask him, what exactly explains this kind of a jump? Because they spoke about huge number of check posts, whether it's only the vigilance or of course there is going to be much, much more because a lot more is at stake and people seem to be having a lot of stash, money stashed away. But, but let's listen into what Mr. Vikas Raj had to say. Telangana has seen big spending during elections or in the run-up to the elections. Last time also, I think it was top of the heap, 128 crore rupees. And here already, within 9 days of uh, or 10 days, less than 10 days of the election code coming into effect, you have 169 crores. Tell us the breakup in terms of currency and liquor and uh, drugs as well and the uh, gold and precious uh, metals. Yeah, just a moment. The numbers basically as far as the cash is concerned, uh, as far as the cash is concerned, uh, is about uh, 77.9 crores. Uh, liquor is uh, about 9 crores. Drugs is about 7.56 crores. Uh, gold, silver, other ornaments, etc. is about 63 crores. And uh, uh, freebies, basically, is about 8.6 crores. This drugs is another very interesting uh segment that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, I can understand that there is a lot of vigilance and uh, checking and therefore the drugs getting caught. But have drugs also become a way of inducing voters? See, the very fact that it is flowing around means that it is being used by somebody. Specifically, how much of it is being used actually for the inducement is something we will need to see. But I am sure that if people are taking the risk of moving these things during the time when it is being very clearly told that they should not be doing it, means that uh, uh, definitely some of it is going into it. There is a stock that big amount of money possibly is coming from Karnataka to Telangana. Allegations are being made by political parties and leaders. Is there any indication uh, for the election commission to believe that something like that, some kind of a movement like that is happening from any of the neighboring states? See, we have put about uh, 90 check posts on our own borders. We have four border states. We have put four, almost 90 check posts. This will increase depending upon which side the pressure is coming from. Uh, similarly, based on the instructions of the Commission, the other states have also been asked to put the check post on the other side of the border. So uh, definitely uh, there is uh, uh, control at the border. Uh, so movement from the border is definitely not an easy thing and uh, basically whatever uh, uh, Caesars, etc., that we are seeing now. Uh, of course, it 
definitely some of it is coming from the roads it could be from the border check post it could also be from the from the static surveillance teams that we have uh, uh, which are there at the uh, at the constituency borders at the district borders so all these things put together uh, i don't clearly see a movement pattern as of now but definitely we know the routes which were identified based on which we were expecting the uh, drugs etc to be moving uh, liquor drugs etc to be moving so definitely there is more vigilance on the places where the expectation of movement of any of these four five things is there very obviously now since uh, india is big on digital money that is the route through which maximum perhaps distribution is going to happen that would be the surmise uh, what kind of measures or how do you actually track something like this does that become more tough see this this has been on the mind of the commission for quite some time now because even during last by election etc there were complaints that uh, money is being moved in the digital route uh, single account to many account and all these things so uh, there was a lot of discussion done at the national level also by the eci and basically what has uh, what has been finally found is most of these by most of these all these accounts are all these digital accounts are basically linked with the bank so ultimately the money does move from the bank so as long as the bank accounts are being monitored we know where where the money is going from so to that extent the uh, the uh, data is being collected from all the banks uh, within the state uh, the lead bank managers uh, uh, and rbi all the banks are on board on this so they are giving details of which banks which account more trans, more of this uh, movement is there similarly which area more movement of cash is there so these are things that are being monitored by the income tax department the, the data is coming from all these uh, sources it could be from the from the even including the cooperative banks etc so that data is definitely coming and basically once we see which accounts it is moving from it includes the digital movement also is you know is artificial intelligence and technology like that also being put to use during these elections for uh, your work of course of course all this data is being collected there is a software that has been developed by the eci and uh, based on all this data coming together actionable points are being uh, drawn out and which area more surveillance needs to be done which accounts need to be looked at who are the people behind these accounts and i mean this is as far as cash is concerned but if we look at even the other things like the movement of liquor and even movement of drugs so uh, ncb is also on board the state also has its own uh, uh, narcotic control uh, department so the data that is coming from these people is also being collected not only to identify the routes from which it is coming but also to identify the people who are behind this so both this type of uh, intelligence is being gathered okay okay so big seizures happening but uh, the election commission certainly saying that they have their eyes and uh, people on the ground to be able to monitor and control illegal movement of these inducements in hyderabad with camera person nagraju umasudhir ndtv